in the name of the Lord who calls himself Rahmanun Rahimun, we perpetrate crimes. We create such hate that we don't even want to respond to a greeting of a person because we think that he doesn't have my understanding, so he is not worth looking at. In fact, he is worth eradicating. A'udhu Billah. In the name of the most merciful, where Allah says, that is Allah, the most merciful is Allah. And the one who was filled with the most mercy after that is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have not sent you except as a means of mercy to the alameen. What mercy do we have upon one another when we have so much hate? The one who was sent with mercy, we use his name, we claim to be ambassadors, we label someone in a way that we want to literally harm them. We make their blood halal. There is a term used, gustakhe rasul. That means a person who has insulted the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Yes, indeed, we will not tolerate those who want to insult because we are human beings filled with love. But we need to remember something. When that term is used to incite you to kill someone, wallahi, that is exactly the work of shaitan. In the name of the one sent as mercy, Look at Khalid ibn al-Walid radiyallahu anhu, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu, all these companions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take a look at them. Before they used to be enemies of Islam, what happened? They were not just eradicated, they were worked upon. The Prophet ﷺ made dua for them. He was sent as a mercy. He was not sent as a killer. He was not sent as a brutal person to spread hate amongst those who follow him. He was not sent to label those who might have a little opinion this way or that way, who need guidance as people who deserve to be killed. But that's what we are doing. The scholars from amongst us are doing this. The scholars from amongst us are doing this. They label a man and they expect their followers to quietly go and kill him because you know what? He did something unforgivable. A'udhu Billah. Who are we? We are claiming to do this in the name of the most merciful, the most forgiving, the most kind, the most compassionate, the most beneficent, and the one who was sent also, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as a mercy to al-alameen. That's not only mankind, but all worlds. Where are we? Why do we allow shaitan to infiltrate us? When a scholar is making a mistake, it is a mistake. It will glare in your face and mine. You can excuse him. He's not a Nabi of Allah. He cannot come about and spew hate and claim that he is doing the message or conveying the message of the one who came with love and mercy. Remember this. This is the reason why we are killing each other across the globe. I've traveled to more than 60 countries where I've seen Muslims literally either fighting each other, spreading the worst hate, or it goes to killing each other. If we don't mention this, we are failing. So express your view and follow it. Let the other man express his view and follow it. Respect the difference of opinion. Don't force someone to believe exactly what you believe. Don't force them. They will be answerable to Allah. You cannot force someone. They will believe differently and they will definitely believe I am doing this because I believe this is what Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted. I give you an example of the Mawlid. When it comes to the Mawlid, you and I know that there is more than one opinion. Some people believe that if the Prophet ﷺ did not do something, they will never ever do it. Leave them, they are okay, they are fine. When they get to Allah, they're going to say, Oh Allah, I was so scared to do something the messenger didn't expressly do and the companions did not completely do, so I, I kept it out. He's not going to be punished, he's got a good enough answer. Why do we have to spew hate because they didn't do it the way we did it and we label them whatevers? And we want to create disaster in the ummah. Your view is not the only acceptable view in Islam.